Right. Well, that certainly was unexpected. I reckon it's time we finish this. Also, digging out Ellie's brain? What is wrong with you guys? Hmm, okay. Kill Ethan. What? There is a lot of dudes here. Okay, one dude coming over this way. Maybe can that guy go away? Where's this chap going here? Hmm. If one of you would kindly come this way, so I could, uh. Oh, whoops. Yes, like that. That'll do. That'll do very nicely. I, I really do love that the axe, when you upgrade it as a melee weapon, you're essentially just putting a pair of scissors on it. Brilliant. Because that's just... Look at that. <laughs> How has that made it more lethal? You're not even making it stick up. So you can't gouge anyone's eye out. Right. Let's save Ellie from getting her, uh... Her brain pulled out of her face. Seems a bit excessive. I'm, I'm in a bit of a quandary, because it's like... On the one hand, that's awful, and I love Ellie, and anyone who comes between me and Ellie is in a lot of trouble. On the other hand, it, it does mean it's a cure for... cordyceps. So I'm not really sure... who's in the right here. One girl to save the world? But then what happens if they're wrong and there isn't really a cure? Then you've just killed Ellie, who is the badassiest girl I know. I know you're here. I know you're here, chum. Where you going? Let's take out this chump. Chumpatronic 5000. Where you going? Walk my way. Shh! Stomp! Ooh! Whoa. No more are we in strangling territory, we're in full on face stomp territory. Who else we got? See, I don't know whether or not to go for stealth or for shooting. So let's at least start with some stealth. Check over that you. Check those rooms. And then perhaps quest to progress to uh, shoes things. Hmm. Oh dear. Holy shit. Mm. The hell? Yeah. Let's just uh set people on fire, mate. There's a dude there! Get off me, dude! No! Alright. You've exceeded your usefulness. Just drag you backwards. Really? You want to try some? Honestly. I'm so angry right now.
I killed your mate by shoving his face in a wall. I've got plenty of places to go. Got lots of places to go. People to see, things to do. Little girls to rescue because you want to butcher them. You're the one in trouble, mate. Frankly. Yeah. So stealthing lasted, what, about five seconds there? I'll be honest, we, we both knew that that was going to go that way. I'm not a smuggler. Well, I, I guess I am a smuggler. I should probably stop using this one. Let's go here and heal. Make sure my health gets kept up. Double check what I can craft. Some molotovs. Might as well use this since we're at the stage right now that I can. Oh look, there's an outside bit. Very nice. Okay, who else wants some? Quarantine's on. Seems to me that over the course of the game, Joel has just gotten angrier and punchier. Oh my god. Is that enough? I sure hope so, because uh, I can't stand to embarrass myself anymore. Oh dear. Ooh. Still alive, are we? New weapon, though. Nice! Right, I'm in an awkward place here. Come on, sit down. Sit down. Where'd he go? Oh, he's there. You're gonna run around in a little crazy circle. These guys have a lot of, uh, kapow time, don't they? Okay, so there's one chap there. Hmm. I wonder what, where I can get some sweet body armor. Whoa. 
perhaps a little unnecessary, but uh, they were starting to irritate me. And why not have fun? Eh? Why not teach these suckers a lesson? Let's heal up again. Right. Why can't I have some of your body armor and your, your little helmet there? Quite nice. I'd, I'd quite like a little, uh, little helmet. To protect my brain. Let's do a little bit of scavenging. Ah, oh, I could have used that a second ago. Um, let's make another one of these. I really need to make another one of those. Can I pick that up now? I know, my explosives are full. Yes, okay. Right. Now where? Uh, where to now? Ah. Okay, so... This is where I was holed up. Pretty good. Still need more of that. I've always got too much of uh, smoke bombs. Right, so I need to go up to the top. Scooch down here. You chaps go that way. Yeah, well, you guys started it. He's over here. No, I'm not. Oh dear, they're coming back. I got you now. Oh dear. Um, let's just, can I run? Oh, this is gonna end badly. No, don't, don't sneak, run. Am I actually gonna survive this? Amazing. Right, let's stop guffing this up. You. Well, I made a right hash of that, didn't I? Oh dear. I was getting too cocky. Is it worth circling back to get that health, do you think? Possibly. Let's have a look, see what's in here. Maybe I can craft another health kit. There we go. Right, I might just run back and get that health from the other place. Because the way this is going, I'm probably going to need every little bit of... every drop of health I can get. So let's run back.
Right, where now, Batman? I'm guessing through there. Go for that one. I don't think we're ever going to get the Shiv Master, so. Oh, shit. There. <coughs> right. Anything down here? No. No roof access. No, I'm going to heal up anyway. Um... Okay. I wonder how the flamethrower works against these chaps, and whether or not it was any good. I should kick off the generators, that would really screw stuff up, wouldn't it? Right, where are we going? It's never going to be easy, was it? April 28th. Marlene was right. The girl's infection is like nothing I've ever seen. The cause of her immunity is uncertain. As we've seen in all past cases, the antigenic titers of the patient's cordyceps remain high in both the serum and the cerebrospinal fluid. Blood cultures taken from the patient rapidly grow cordyceps and fungal media in the lab. However, white blood cell lines, including percentages and absolute counts, are completely normal. There is no elevation of pro-inflammatory cytokines, and an MRI of the brain shows no evidence of fungal growth in the limbic regions, which would normally accompany the prodrome of aggression in infected patients. We must find a way to replicate this state under laboratory conditions. We're about to hit a milestone in human history equal to the discovery of penicillin, after years of wandering in circles, we're about to come home, make a difference, and bring the human race back into control of its own destiny. All of our sacrifices and the hundreds of men and women who've bled for this cause, or worse, will not be in vain. Hmm. Now I'm really conflicted. One girl to save the world? Is it worth killing everyone for this? Let's see what Marlene has to say about things. It's 5.30 p.m. on April 28th. I just finished speaking, I don't know, more like yelling at our head surgeon. Apparently there's no way to extricate the parasite without eliminating the host. Fancy way of saying we gotta kill the fucking kid. And now they're asking for my go-ahead. The tests just keep getting harder and harder, don't they? I'm so tired. I'm exhausted. And I just want this to end. What would you do? Save the girl or save the world? It's definitely an ethical dilemma that we're about to embark on here. Anything poignant? No. I was wondering if there was any names that we'd recognize. Oh my gosh. This room is excellent. 
What an excellent room. Wrong one there. Which probably means we're about to get into a massive firefight. So let's get ready. Definitely these. One more of these. Okay. So I want my trusty pistol. Okay. Let's carry on. No one here yet. Yet. I'm so full of tape. What does this say? Marlene's journal. March 15th, we finally crossed the Utah border. In a couple of days, we'll be back with the others. Today, the crew was in much better spirits. I've been worried about their morale since Greg and Tanya's passing last week. It's good to hear them laughing again. Robin came up to me and said, thanks for watching over Marlene. It was a small gesture, but I needed it. March 23rd, Ellie never made it. We arrived at the hospital. There was much celebration, at least from the others. I guess they're happy to see their old friends. We haven't seen some of these guys in over 10 years. After they told me the news, I couldn't eat. I couldn't talk to, to anyone. I should be grateful that just to be alive, but right now I just want to shut my eyes for a bit. March 24. They look at me and I know they're thinking that we're a bunch of incompetent grunts. What was I supposed to do? I thought I was going to die. My men were being hunted by the entire Boston Battalion. I had to get her out of the city. How was I supposed to know the Firefly escorts were already dead? God damn it, I panicked. In the end, I healed pretty damn quickly and my men were more than capable than I gave them credit for. More than a handful have survived the army attack. army's attack. I should have kept with me instead of handing her off to a couple of smugglers. I failed you, Anna. I failed all of us. I'm an incompetent grunt. April 25. I can't start to stand talking to any of them. I don't think I can take the stairs any longer. No way I can stay here. April 28. One of our scouts just raided in. He spotted an older man and a young girl entering the tunnel by the bus terminal. He thinks she might have had red hair, but he's not sure. What if it's her? Stop doing this, Marlene. The recon squad is about to head out. I'm going to join them. April 28. When you're lost in the darkness, look for the light. She's alive. They're running tests on her now. I can't tell if I'm excited, scared, or just nervous. All I know is my hands won't stop shaking. Hmm. It, it is sad, isn't it? Because, like, Marlene doesn't want Ellie to die, but... You know, her kind of feeling that this is the cure for everything is making her want to sacrifice, you know, a girl that she clearly loves, but... Is Joel doing the right thing? I don't know. It's a tough one. It's definitely a tough one. But then I just think about a life without Ellie, and after all we've been through, I mean, she saved Joel's life. Oh gosh. Okay. I could really do with an RPG about now. Nail bomb time. What the? I heard something.
I really need to funnel these guys together and then just take them out with one. God, there's so many. Should we have a competition to see how long stealth lasts in this bit for me? I'm predicting about a minute. Oh my god, there's so many people. Less than a minute. I should just wait here and let them come to me. Where the hell are you? Sucks for you, pal. does it take to knock you off? Behind me. Who's shooting me now? Whoa! Someone around here somewhere. Oh, there he is. I'll wait here all day. There you go. Is that it? Music's gone quiet, so possibly. Gosh. I never underestimate the power of a good nail bomb. I think I did it. Well. That nail bomb probably definitely helped. A lot. Yeah. 
got quite a few people that, didn't I? Right. Let's go for Ellie. gave the okay to proceed with the surgery. I really doubt I had much of a choice. Asking me was more of a formality. I need you to know that I've kept my promise all these years. Despite everything that I was in charge of, I looked after her. I would have done anything for her, and at times I... a chance to save us. All of us. This is what we were after. What you were after. They asked me to kill the smuggler. I'm not about to kill the one man in this facility that might understand the weight of this choice. Maybe he can forgive me. Wow. Um. Could you twist in the knife a, l a, l a little more there? I, I'm not quite sure my feelings got jabbed enough there. Oh, man. I... What the heck do we do then? Well, let's heal up. And then, let's finish this. Okay, Ellie, I'm coming for you. Sweet Jesus. Doctor? What are you doing in here? I won't let you take her. The, don't come any closer. I mean it. Revive her. Revive her now. Come on, baby girl. I got you. I got you. Oh, shit. can't save her. Even if you get her out of here, then what? How long before she's torn to pieces by a pack of clickers? 
That is, if she hasn't been raped and murdered first. <laughs> it ain't for you to decide. It's what she'd want. And you know it. Look. You can still do the right thing here. She won't feel anything. are still wearing off. What happened? We found the fireflies. Turns out there's a whole lot more like you, Ellie. People that are immune. There's dozens, actually. Ain't time a damn bit of good, neither. They've actually... They've stopped looking for a cure. I'm taking us home. I'm sorry. Shot through here. All right. It's actually kind of pretty, ain't it? Yeah. All right. Now, what's your head going through? Here. I got it. Oh. Feeling my age now. I don't think I ever told you, but, uh, Sarah and I used to take hikes like this. I think, uh, I think the two of you would have been, would have been good friends. I think you really would have liked her. I know she'd have liked you. I bet I would have. Oh. Look down there. Just a little bit further now. Back in Boston, back when I was bitten, I wasn't alone. My best friend was there, and she got bit too. 
We didn't know what to do. So... She says... Let's just wait it out. You know, we can be all poetic and just lose our minds together. I'm still waiting for my turn. Ellie. Her name was Riley, and she was the first to die. And then it was Tess. And then Sam. None of that is on you. Oh, you don't understand. I struggled for a long time with surviving. And you... No matter what... You keep finding something to fight for. Now, I know that's not what you want to hear right now. Swear though, to me. Swear to me that everything that you've said about the Fireflies is true. I swear. Uh, community of you always there always commenting and I've loved watching your discussions on things like cordyceps and how you'd survive and I don't know whether or not bath rugby is the best <laughs> or not and telling me where I should go and visit if I like all the scenery in this so I just want to say thank you so much uh, for giving me a chance and for chatting with me and uh, I hope to see you in the next thing I do so thank you so much for joining me on The Last of Us Wow, <laughs> I think I need a hug now. So um, that's it for me for this. See you guys next time. Bye.